Hello, hello. I am Margaret Lowe. I am president of Atlantic Live. And on behalf of The Atlantic, Bloomberg Philanthropies, and the Aspen Institute, I am so happy to welcome you to City Lab Baltimore. Uh, thank you so much for joining us in this stunning space. The Stavros Niarhos Foundation Parkway Theater is 100 and two years old, one of the er earliest movie palaces on the East Coast and just renovated this year. So we feel especially fortunate to be here and to be here with all of you in such a packed house. Our City Lab series is for people who love cities and who are working hard to find ways to make city life in all its dimensions better for everyone. Over the last year, this great group has taken City Lab from New York to Los Angeles, Miami, and London. Later this year, we're going to be in Paris, uh, but we're so happy today to be with you as a, a city lab in Baltimore. And this is a city with venerable institutions. It is rich in culture and history. The singer Billie Holiday lived here, Frederick Douglass, Edgar Allan Poe, and a young lawyer and poet named Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner here after the Battle of Baltimore during the War of 1812. Uh, beyond its storied past, like so many cities in America, there are gaping disparities in Baltimore. Poverty, crime, addiction, and despair endure. And in contrast to that, it is a hub of innovation. There's new development, there's new investment here, and the city is working mightily to create opportunity for all who call it home. So today, we're going to highlight what's working and what's not. We'll look across the country to other cities like New Orleans, Detroit, and Albany to talk about ideas that transcend geography. A few basic notes before we get started. Please silence your cell phones, but don't put them away because we'd love you to join the conversation on Twitter. We are at Atlantic Live, Bloomberg.org, and Aspen Institute. We don't expect you to remember all that. You can find all those handles at the bottom of your agenda, too, and you should use the hashtag be More City Lab, all one word. And thank you uh, for uh, citylab.com for hosting our live stream. We'd also like everybody in the room, all of you here, to join the conversation too. So we're going to count on you to have lots of questions during the course of the afternoon. Before we begin in earnest, I want to take a moment to thank our underwriters, the Annie E. Casey Foundation and Open Society Institute Baltimore for helping to make this gathering possible. Thank you so much. Now, we'll get rolling. We begin with a spotlight on small business. And for that, please join me in welcoming Crystal Boykins. She is co-owner of the Baltimore-based fashion retailer, Cuties on Duty. Welcome, Crystal. 